So on August 23rd, the band and I flew from Halifax to Frankfurt, Germany, and we were supposed to get a connecting flight to Billund, Denmark, to perform at the Tonder Festival. He ended up missing our connecting flight in Frankfurt because we were in the wrong line for security at the airport, and we were told to remain there from one of the security agents. We didn't realize at the time there was a priority line that we should have been in because we had such a quick connecting flight. So we missed the flight, and I reported to the partner airline to try to get us rebooked. I had booked through Air Canada, and when I went to the uh, partner airline ticket counter, she looked up the flight and said that since there was no delay, that it was not her fault and she wouldn't rebook us. So that put me out over $3,000, $3,027.56 to be exact, to buy five tickets from Frankfurt to Billund, Denmark. So I thought, okay, you know what? We're getting paid to do the festival. We're not gonna make any money now, but it's a trip over, we get to play music, but it didn't end there. On the way back home, we got to the Billund Airport to fly from Denmark back to Halifax. And when we got to the ticket counter, the lady informed us that our tickets were not in the system. And so she told us to contact Air Canada, which I did. And at this point, I'm on hold for over an hour, our flight, has left. Uh, she said that because we had missed a connecting flight, Air Canada had canceled the remainder of our trip. So that was all our return flights home. And I did not receive any notification of this cancellation. And also I did report that we missed our connecting flight and they still would not rebook me. So at this stage, I was out over $14,000 plus the 3,000. So I'm, I'm out over $17,000 to pay for uh, airline tickets. I had to make sure that the band made it home. Ben had to do a show at the PEI Brewing Company. I ended up missing a show in Toronto because of the delays and cancellations that continued even after we rebooked the tickets. We slept in the airport on the floor. We had a 16 hour layover on the way home. It turned into more delays that was closer to 24 hours. And we had, I think we had like three flight cancellations total and when we were in Denmark and we couldn't fly out till the next day, Air Canada didn't offer to put us in any type of hotel. Instead, they offered to uh, give us special vouchers, which when I asked what the vouchers were, they said that it would uh, only be valid on the, the current day, but since there was no flights flying out that day, the vouchers were essentially nothing. So she gave me an empty promise after putting me on hold for over an hour to talk to a supervisor, to not put us in a hotel, to not give us any type of compensation. And that's where we are. Um, over $17,000 in additional expenses. Um, I, I am currently in the process of submitting a claim with Air Canada, but since my flight had been canceled, my booking reference is no longer valid. So it's gonna take me additional time to even open up a claim. I don't know how long that will take. Right now I have all that money on my credit card and I feel kind of helpless and sick about the whole experience. Um, I'm doing a GoFundMe and this is, this is not to make money off of. This is simply to help recoup some of the costs that um, we lost from the experience with Air Canada while the claim is pending. If Air Canada comes through and gives me any type of compensation, 
the GoFundMe will help to support what other compensation they won't provide if they choose not to fully compensate us. And if we raise enough money where we've recouped all of our costs, the additional funds I am vowing to put into a fund through Music PEI that will be um, a support for emerging artists in any capacity, whether they find themselves in a similar situation, getting screwed over by the airports uh, and the airlines, or there's some other issue that they run into. I'm going to talk to Music PEI about that. And that's, that's a best case scenario that we, that we make more than enough money back, but I'm not looking to make anything. I'm just looking to recoup uh, what I lost to hopefully continue creating and pursuing music and, and, I just think uh, it's disgusting the way that Air Canada treats customers. Uh, they make these really weird loopholes that they can extract money from their customers. And meanwhile, even though I... Sorry, my phone ran out of storage. What I was going to say was that our flight, um, they they canceled our, our tickets on the return flight. And... Well, they made that money back because they kept my money and then they would have sold tickets to somebody else because the seats were full when we went back. So Air Canada is making money off of multiple people for the same seat. And it's not fair. It's not right. Anyway, so any amount that you feel like you can donate would be appreciated. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we might look at doing a, a fundraiser show as well. So get a few bands together. I've been talking to some people about that so we'll stay tuned for for some more info if if we decide to go that route as well to help try to recoup some of this but uh anyway that's all i'll say for now i got a lot more to say i'm kind of holding my tongue a little bit but thank you for your support and hopefully we get through this and we're able to continue on thanks <laughs>